Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. If you've been looking at the cost of SSD storage lately, you would have noticed that it's progressively getting cheaper by the day. In fact, two weeks ago, I bought a 500 gig SATA SSD for our external recorder for just a hundred Aussie dollar it is. However, SSD storage isn't just getting cheaper, it's getting a lot faster as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button right now and turn on that little bell to receive notifications. We upload basically every single day of the week, so do yourself a big old favor and make sure that you are subscribed. Now, Adata reached out to us and they basically told me that they created something really, really special. They told me they had created their fastest SSD to date. In this video, we're gonna take a look at their brand new Adata XPG SX8200 Pro. It's a bit of a mouthful. And yes, this is a review. Hashtag is a review. Let me get this out of the way first. This is not the same drive as the SX8200 that Adata released early in the year. This is a whole new drive. And that being said, I wanted to read you guys something. Hang on a second. This is what Adata wanted me to say about the SX8200 Pro M.2. Let me read their press release, okay. The SX8200 Pro M.2 2280 SSD is XPG's fastest SSD to date and is designed for avid PC enthusiasts, gamers, and overclockers. It features an ultra-fast PCIe Gen 3 times 4 interface that offers sustained peak read and write speeds of 3500 by 3000 megabytes per second, outpacing SATA 6 gigabit by a wide margin. Supporting NVMe 1.3, the SX8200 Pro delivers excellent random read and write performance of 390K by 380K IOPS with SLC caching, DRAM cache buffer, E2E data protection, and LDPC ECC. It maintains high speeds and data integrity even during highly intensive applications such as gaming, rendering and overclocking. Okay. Well, that's a thing. There you have it. That's it guys. That's the Adata XPG SX8200 Pro. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek. We seek. I'm kidding. Come on. Are you joking? We're not done yet. We're not even close. We've got lots more to talk about. Okay. <laughs> Jokes aside, the drive comes in three capacities. 256 gig, 512 gig, and one terabyte. The capacity we were sent is the 512 gigabyte version. I decided that instead of saying things like how great the drive is and how Samsung should be worried, that I would instead present the facts to you and you can make your own decision on whether you should buy something like the SX8200 Pro or not. The ball is in your court. We tested the XPG SX8200 Pro with two tools that we use to test every single drive that we get here. The first test we ran is with the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test Utility. It's a great program for video content creators because it gives you a great table of bitrate conversions and basically tells you if your drive is capable of doing certain video editing workloads. The SX8200 Pro is capable of every current video workload. Well, it is according to a tool anyway. The way we test this is we run two different types of tests. We run them 20 times and we calculate the average speed of all of those 20 tests that we conducted. We ran the one gig test, the five gig test, and we ran them on the SX8200 Pro and the Samsung 970 Evo to give you a little bit of context so the numbers don't just equal numbers. This means we ran over 80 tests for this one tool alone. Let's see how it went. In the one gigabyte Blackmagic disk speed test, we saw an average read speed of 3062 megabytes per second, which is approximately 6% faster than the Samsung 970 Evo. And this is where it begins to get really interesting. And we're gonna start to see a few little patterns start to form. In the one gigabyte Blackmagic disk speed test, we saw an average write speed of 2092 megabytes per second 
which is approximately 42% faster than the Samsung 970 Evo. In the 5 gig black magic disk speed test, we saw an average read speed of 3057 megabytes per second, which is approximately 3% faster than the Samsung 970 Evo. In the 5 gig black magic disk speed test, we saw an average write speed of 2095 megabytes per second, which is approximately 49% faster than the Samsung 970 Evo. We also ran the five by one gigabyte crystal disk mark test. We ran that four times, which totaled another 80 benchmarks. We did a lot of testing guys. There are so many results here that we decided that we just let you look at them and let all of the results speak for themselves. So without further ado, let's check those out. In almost every single test, the SX8200 Pro is faster than the Samsung 970 Evo, and I'm glad because it creates some much needed healthy competition. Samsung has dominated the NVMe market for a few years, and it's about time ADATA stepped up and created a fast product to claw back at some of that market share. When ADATA said they were sending us a sample for review, they actually told me that it was faster than the 970 Evo but now we actually have that data to back up their claims. However, their on paper figures do feel kind of short in some situations. Well, well they, they kind of do. Okay, well, let me elaborate on this a bit. They claimed their read speed was 3,500 megabytes per second, which we actually exceeded with Crystal Disk Mark. However, their claim of 3,000 megabytes per second right we didn't even get remotely close to. In fact, our fastest run topped out just shy of 2,400 megabytes per second right. But don't scoff just yet. It's in the marketing, you see. They claimed the peak of those speeds on the one terabyte model, not the whole one up. And like I mentioned at the start of the video, the sample we have is the 512 gig version. It took a little bit of digging for me to find their test results and what I found aligned with the testing that we did. When you consider their speeds with the ones we achieved in our tests, the drive speeds claimed are right on the money. As far as their claimed read and write IOPS as compared to what we saw, there was quite a difference. Our peak read and write was 352K IOPS as opposed to their 390K IOPS and for their write speed, we got 369k IOPS as opposed to their 380k IOPS. At the end of the day, do I think the XPG SX8200 Pro is a decent drive? I do. Do I think it's worth the money? Well, I can't find any pricing right now, but judging by the history and judging by how their drives have been priced in the past, I think it's going to be pretty competitive. Do I think you can stand the test of time and sustained workloads? Well, they reckon it does, and I really, really hope that it does. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do and tell us what you didn't like about it, tell us what you hated about it. Just basically say anything you want. Once again, thanks so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And I'll be honest, this drive is really, really good. I really, really like it and this is a review. If you've got any more questions about the drive or anything to do with this video, feel free to do your worst in the comment sections. Sections? Section. Section. Yeah. Now I'm gonna walk away and pretend like I'm smart with these fake glasses. Mm -hmm.